Hello guys, welcome to My Shim Ken 2020, episode five. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you another part of Shim Kent. Um, have a look above, you can see a big statue. We're gonna go up there in a minute, get a really good view over Shim Kent, and then we're gonna make our way down some steps into a park if it's open, and um, onto a big square as well. So guys, follow me. This is um, this building here is a four-star, four, yeah, four-star hotel. Probably the second-best hotel. Um, well, maybe it's a five-star hotel. I'm not sure. But it's the second-best hotel in Shimken after the Rixus. But I can't remember the name of it. Uh, the name of it. Uh, and if we look to the right, we get a nice view over the city of Shimken, and we might be able to see the mountains in the background. We're going to be making our way down those stairs very shortly. Okay guys, I want you to look to your right hand side and we have the statue of Beidebeck, who of course is a great Kazakhstan hero. If I could tell you who exactly he was, I would. But I don't know who he, who he was, so we'll just have to assume he was some great guy. Um, nice impressive statue overlooking the, the road really um, there we go okay so we've got something in English here by the big B monuments the monument by the big B is the tallest monument in Kazakhstan the monument rises to 23 meters According to legend, Baidebek Karoshule, a famous Bai and Batir of the Kazakh people, the legendary first ancestor of many of the Kazakh clans of the Ulujus, senior Jus. There we go. And now if you look down the stairs, which we're going to be heading to now, you can see the view um, yeah, of where we're heading. So there is a big square at the bottom with uh, a ferris wheel some other amusements which are closed at the moment. It usually gets busy in the evening um, when there isn't a pandemic. So getting down the steps is easy, but it's getting back up that's a bit, a bit more of a problem. That's where we've just come from, guys. Hey guys, I've got something interesting for you. Have a look. Again, some kind of monument type thing in a kind of Kazakh style, a pyramid thing in the middle. The Kazakh symbol at the top of the pyramid. Um, not exactly sure what it uh, symbolizes, but very Kazakh. Okay, we're now going to go for a walk in this park, which I wasn't sure it was going to be open or not, but fortunately it is. So let's go. So yeah, during the evening, um, this is a really popular place to come. 
Like it's really quiet. There's no one here at the moment. It's because it's so hot. You know, it's like 40 degrees heat. Uh, but in the evening, everything lights up. Usually, probably not at the moment because of the coronavirus thing, but in normal times, yeah, it's a really good place to come. Not just this park, but this whole kind of area. Places to sit here, some uh, in Russian Besetki, in English I don't know. Nice place to sit in the shade. I'll just show you how it's done. There you go. Easy. And look who it is again. It's Mr. Bide Beck up there. Can you see him through the trees? Making its way down. Okay, guys, we've reached a big square here, as we can see. Uh, there's something in front of us. Um, and as we approach the square, you'll see it's very, it's very large and very empty. Um, this is the place where the Shimkent Marathon finishes, the finishing point. Um, it's also where kind of different um, celebrations take place. Um, for example, when it's Nauru's. Um, so yeah, lots of things do go on here at certain times of the year. Okay, and this is the Ipod, well, in Russian, Ipodrom, I think in English, Ipodrom. Um, I think it's like where horses run around, do something. I think it's also where you can actually get a hot air balloon in normal times, um, in the evenings. So this is the Hippodrome, the entrance to it. Um, there's nothing going on at the moment. It's all closed off. I've never actually been here before. I think it's quite newly built. That never used to be there when I came here last time after a marathon run.
Now there is a fun fair behind us, which is now currently closed, so we're not going to go uh, in there. Um, so that is where today's episode finishes. I'll leave you with a nice view of my Quebec statue, the biggest uh, monument uh, in Kazakhstan, which we found out today. I learned something as well. So guys, thank you for watching episode five. See you soon.